Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In previous video, we have learnt about what is string, how to define and access string. In this video, we are going to learn about how to update and delete the string, then string comparison and few more important string operators. Now comes a very important topic, how to update or delete a string. This is one of the interview question. Always remember, strings are immutable immutable means we cannot change the value of a string once it created let's see with an example created a string and going to print it i want to find the address of this particular string for that memory location before update id when you mention id it will display the address of this string id of str1 just run it the value is python and the memory location before update is 18 followed by 008 now i am trying to modify the string just adding some value str1 plus equal to tutorials you know the meaning of this str1 equal to str1 plus tutorial so the output will be python tutorials let us print the updated value and check the memory location of the same string when you run it you can see the value is added but the memory location has changed both the values are totally different it means whenever we update any value in the string it will create a new memory location with the updated value so always remember data types number and string are immutable in this example we have seen updating the value just by adding the tutorial words which is a positive scenario but what will happen if we replace any character within the limit we have a string happy learning and we will print it now i'm trying to update a character how to update this character is str the index value 4 4 means instead of y you just replace with yes when you run it you will get an error type error because string does not support item assignment hope you understood why we are saying immutable we cannot change the value now a question arises how to delete a value in python we cannot delete or remove a character from a string but we can delete the entire string using the del keyword so we already created a string now i will try to delete that using the delete keyword del my str i just executed it let us check the value when you run it name my str is not defined it means that the value in the memory location got deleted that is why we got the name error hope you got a clear idea about how to change or update a string the next topic is string operation if you mention plus symbol it means you're going to concordinate or you're going to club the string you can club just two string or sometimes more than two string also only thing is you have to mention the plus symbol my string one is hello my string two is anand what i did is just s1 plus s2 when you run it you'll get hello anand it means both the values are concordinated the next one is star operator that can be used to repeat the string for given number of times for example s yes, 2 star if you mention 3 and run that you know s yes, 2 contains a value anand and this will be printed three times because we mentioned star into three one is used for concordination another one is to repeat the strings for n number of times we have many methods ORD means this function returns the ASCII code of the character you know very well every letter will have a value here since it is a character I mentioned with single code print ORD within this if you mention the variable if you run it the ASCII code for small letter B is 98 first one we are finding the ASCII number for a particular character now for that ascii number what is the character it's just like a vice versa so i randomly mentioned uh, print chr what is the value of 97 65 98 just i'm running it so 97 means the value is a 65 means it is capital a 98 means it is b you can cross verify it from this you understood one thing that every single letter having a ascii number now comes the important topic based on the above concept when we do the string comparison 
this will be happening with the help of ascii number only here you understood one thing small letter is having bigger value capital letter is having smaller value let's see one by one what i am doing is print i am just comparing it both the values are equal or not since both are same when you run it the output will be a boolean next condition here it is in a capital letter here it is in small letter when you do a comparison whether these both strings are same means you will get the false so we completed equal to symbol the next example is not equal to not equal to means exclamatory symbol and equal to this is how we have to mention for not equal to whether the python is not equal to java of course it is true both are not same the next value is greater than now comes the interesting part when we do a comparison here of course it will do a comparison pp both are same here small y here capital y you know very well small letter having a bigger value it means this will be a true condition when you do a less than comparison and run it it will be a false because we know this value is a bigger one same way we can do the comparison greater than or equal to less than or equal to we executed the code this line greater than true then greater than or equal to it will be true and this one is false of course the last line less than or equal to also will be false where this exactly used is in the entry criteria of the condition statement if this string equal to or not equal to some other value then come into the loop this is the exact place where we use string comparison the next topic is membership operator we have two membership operator in and not in str1 string1 equal to all the best print we are trying to find whether best in str1 means whether the value best is available in the string when you run if it is available you will get true sample code for not in operator same way print sad not in str2 whether this value is not available in the string of course it is true which is not available we have two types of membership operator in and not in then iterating string using for loop we have already seen this program in for loop chapter what i am doing it for element in this string so what it will do it will check one by one value and it will print it this will print p y t h o n python one by one character so we can iterate string using for loop also we have already completed 80% of string topics in the next video we will learn about important string methods or functions please find the material link in the video description thanks for watching happy learning